Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sean LaHall, and today I want to discuss with all of you my favorite sport, chess. Chess is one of the oldest sports in history. Originally called Chaturanga, it was created 1,500 years ago in India. Though it has a reputation as a complicated game, the rules of chess are quite simple. Chess is a two-player game in which the players alternate turns. The objective of chess is to achieve checkmate, meaning that your opponent's king is being attacked by one of your pieces and cannot move anywhere else safely without being attacked by another one of your pieces. In 2013, chess history was changed forever when 22-year-old Magnus Carlsen, as shown in this picture, won the title of World Chess Champion. Carlsen's 2013 win changed the course of not only his, but also the lives of countless others. The Norwegian television broadcasting company, NRK, made the bold decision to broadcast the entire 2013 chess championship. Despite the fact that the average chess game lasts several hours and the championship itself lasted almost three weeks, hundreds of thousands of Norwegians tuned in to watch the event. In 2016, 56%, more than half, of Norway's national television audience tuned in to watch Carlsen clinch his third world title. Chess is now, watching Carlsen win inspired hundreds of thousands of Norwegians to start playing chess, which has permeated all aspects of Norwegian society. Every day in Norway, 500,000 people, or about one in every 10 Norwegians, plays chess online. Chess-themed stores are now struggling to keep chess boards and chess pieces in stock. And chess podcasts are among some of the most popular to download. Bars such as this one, called The Good Night, are very popular and always jam-packed with Norwegians who play chess while they eat or drink as an after-work social activity. Chess has also spread to Norway's youth as chess education is prevalent in many elementary schools and a common activity on playdates. Clearly, this Magnus effect or as, Norwe or as the Norwegian fascination with chess is sometimes called, has taken the country by storm. Obviously, part of the reason why Norway has such a fascination with chess is because Carlsen is a considered a source of great national pride. However, there is evidence that shows that if played regularly enough, chess can help a player amass valuable skills which will help in life. This could, may also be a reason why chess is being promoted among Norwegians, especially among Norway's youth. A 2012 study from the University of La Laguna in Spain found that in students ranging from 6 to 16 years old who played chess, they had better skills regarding cognitive and social-emotional capabilities. It was found that if students played chess for one year, only one year, they would perform better on tests regarding mathematics, problem-solving, analysis, foresight, and planning. The students who played chess also reported better self-esteem, higher satisfaction with school, and more better emotional well-being. So why is it important to promote these skills? Well, these are the skills that will be required in the future in STEM fields, which schools, after-school programs, and society in general are promoting as the careers of the future. In STEM fields such as these, you need to be good at math, problem-solving, analysis, and you need to have the ability to work cohesively as a team. These are the exact same skills which you will learn by playing chess. Because of this, other countries, including the United States, need to follow Norway's example and engage in chess so that they too can help better their population's chance for succeeding in our STEM-driven future. During the Industrial Revolution, you would often find chess by working with your hands and your physical skills. In our technological revolution, though, I believe that you will achieve success by working with your brain and your mental capabilities. Your brain is like any other muscle in the sense that it needs to be exercised in order to go strong. In order to succeed in our future, we will need to strengthen this muscle, and there's no better way to do that than by playing chess. Thank you.